Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tracel. Hey, how y'all doing? Hope y'all are good. Thank you for coming back to another video of Face Meets Tracel YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all so much. Today's video is going to be me testing out the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundations. If you did not know already by the title. I have a lot of errands to run today. I will be putting this on. I will not be using any concealer um, because I have two shades. I have the shade 320 and that is for my complexion. Um, and then I have the shade 310 and that will be for my highlighting areas. So I will powder contour and everything else. And I hope this goes well because I will be out today. I hope this works out. So stay tuned to see how this goes. You will get my review of the foundation at the end of it when I get back from running all of my errands. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel if I didn't see it already. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I appreciate you guys so much. So let's just get ready, set, gorgeous. I will be color correcting today simply because I feel like it. I want to be cute. So now that I have this on my face, I'm now deciding to read this to you. It says it's a fresh complexion, oil-free foundation, one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduces shine all day. Oil-free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin and lasts all day. So I'm going to hold you to that cover girl with this last all day foundation. This is in the shade 320, Soft Sable. I do think it's blending in really well. It does say that I will give you a fresh complexion look, so maybe it's not intended to be full coverage, I am not sure, but I like a good cake face, so I actually like to look like I'm wearing makeup yes someone must look at me and say oh my gosh your makeup looks good I don't like that no makeup makeup look that's just not for me but for y'all that like it that's no problem whatsoever it's just not my preference okay so far I have no complaints I actually really like how it blended into my skin it feels really nice I have zero problems with it I mean, I'm going to go in with the shade 310 classic tan. I think maybe this might have been too light for my highlight, but we'll make it work. And to set my highlight, I use my usual Sasha Buttercup powder. And I used my beauty blender, which was already damp, and I just pressed it gently into my face. I found that using this method allows it to stay a lot longer and reduces flashback when taking pictures. As I'm done with that, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Sasha Matte Face Powder, and this is in the shade Perfect Honey. Another trick I use to avoid flashback, when I'm done setting the rest of my face, I use the same brush and I brush off the residue from my buttercup powder, which would be my highlighting powder. And this tends to reduce the flashback as well, and it allows your highlight to look a lot more natural. Alright guys, so I did my contour and my highlight and my blush and my lips and everything off camera. So I'm going to leave my house in a few and I'm going to be back with my review on how this foundation held up. So far it really is really lovely. I really like it. So I'm hoping it can hold up to Trinidad's weather because it's really really hot here. I'm hoping that because it's an oil free it's mattifying and let's just see how this goes and let's see if we really will be ready set gorgeous cover girl. I'm going to let you know. So the time is 2.20 p.m. I will be back with my review, hopefully in a couple hours, 
not sure how long I'll take, hopefully it's not forever, and hopefully I'm not too tired to film this, but I will be back. So thanks guys, and stay tuned for my review. Alright guys, so I am back. I just got home about 10 minutes ago. It is now 10.59pm. Let's see how this held up. Let's see. Um, I actually really do like it. I have not blotted once. I did not blot, but then again, I don't necessarily get oily except in my tea area which I don't think is really bad so I would say covergirl two thumbs up for these two foundations you all did an excellent job with the formula now I have um, normal slash dry slash oily so I have combination skin um, in my t-zone I usually get a little greasy along my cheeks in this area I get really dry but the rest of my face is really normal the only thing I probably say is a thing that under my eyes I think look a little white um, slightly ashy simply because the shade that I got was 310 um, my sister actually bought this for me so I am not sure if there's a shade between 320 and 310 maybe like a 315 maybe that would have been the ideal color for me to highlight under my eyes but i'm not sure if they have it i will look into that if they do um i'll definitely be purchasing that i have zero complaints with my face right now i do not think it looks bad at all my highlight stood up and that would be this palette right here that's the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant but we're not reviewing this right now so yeah back to the foundation um, I don't usually have smile lines um, laugh line issues I don't usually have creasing under my eyes unless this on that foundation that I used would have been completely horrible maybe I might have had some of that but I have no complaints. This looks pretty good. This is my oiliest area on my face and I still don't think that it's ridiculously oily. I think it is a little oily but I don't think it's to the point where it's extremely embarrassing. It's something that I could work with and I was out, well I wasn't out all day but I was in hot weather conditions all day and then I went to dinner and I came back home and I have all of this on still from since 2 this afternoon so I would say it held up pretty well um, they did not give a certain amount of time that you can use this for yeah they did not give away time on this maybe I will check the website before I post this video so that I could put it anywhere on the screen the actual wait time of the foundation but CoverGirl did an excellent job. I absolutely love this foundation. I do think I am ready, set, gorgeous. So, props to you CoverGirl on your oil-free foundation. Two thumbs up, definitely, from me. So, I absolutely love it. It did a wonderful job. My face is not horrible. It's not falling apart. I do not have creasing. It's totally wearable. It's really light. You do not feel as if you're wearing makeup because it does say fresh complexion so I'm guessing it's supposed to wear as skin I'm thinking it will be really lightweight so yeah two thumbs up I am ready set gorgeous so thank you guys for coming to my channel and I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this foundation I love it so I hope you all can try it out let me know what you think and always leave whatever comments whatever questions any suggestions in my comments below I am always open for constructive criticism, so thank you so much. Just like that, it's easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. See y'all at my next video. Bye.